Welcome to 8.7's Math Moment. Today in math, students were making line plots in order to read and analyze line plots and answer, um, answer questions about the information that was on the plot. So let's take a look at our example. It says, the ages of students at summer camp are totaled in the frequency table. Organize it into a line plot. So here I want to first take some time just to look at my table and make sure I understand what I'm working with. I have the age of students here and then the frequency. Frequency means how much or how often. And sometimes frequency is a hard word for students to um, remember the meaning of. So I like to break it down and remind them it just means how much or how often it's taking place. So that means I've got two people that are four years old. I have three people that are five years old and so on through the table. So to organize it into a line plot with the, um, how I have it here is I just have a line with my ages, all right? My, um, my ages or the, the unit that I'm working with on this side of the table should always be what's on the bottom and the frequency should be what I plot in the points. So if I have four people that are two, that happens twice, I'm just gonna plot two points on top of four to show that there are two people that are four years old. I have three for five, so I'm gonna plot three points on five, four for six, six for seven, six for eight, seven for nine, and five for 10. Now, this is just another way to look at the information. It's the same information that's in the table, but this is just a more visual representation of it. So it might help me as I'm working with some questions um, to analyze this a little bit easier than the table. It says, how many students were seven or older? Now we work with students a lot. I'm really looking at this language and thinking, should I include seven or should I not? Because some of our questions might say, how many students are older than seven? How many students are younger than seven? In which case we wouldn't include the people that are seven. But in this case, it says seven or older, which means I can include the seven as well as anything more. So all I would have to do then is add up these dots in the plot or add up these amounts in the table. So I've got five, or excuse me, I've got six here, plus another six would be 12. I've got seven here, plus another five would be 12. And I know that 12 plus 12 is 24. So I would have 24 students that were seven or older. If you have any questions about line plots, make sure to see your math teacher.